is I would take a paper towel, not a bib, just because they're expensive, you know, they're not expensive, but it adds up, you know what I'm saying? You want to get it right in there when it comes time. All right. This is what a regular spatula looks like, different colors, okay? You fluff it. Okay, go ahead. Did you? <laughs> okay. So you fluff it. You pat it so you don't breathe it in. This is important. In read, is it regular set or fast set? Okay. Fast set, you go a little faster. I have one on mine that changes colors. And then this is a scooper. Okay. I like the ones that change colors because you know how fast you can move. You're going to start sweating. You're going to be like doing the alginate dance. That's what I call it, the alginate dance because you're moving. You're going to take it. You're going to tap it. You're not going to pack it. You're going to tap it like that. One, always start off with the lower impression first. Anybody know why? It's easier on the patient because if they gag on the upper, you least got the lower, right? Mm -hmm. And never mention the word gag because that automatically puts them in their head, okay? Another thing you need to do, just so you know, two scoops for the lower, okay? Three scoops for the upper. Now, sometimes the patient will have a high palate and you have to look in their mouth. So you'll go around and open up. And you'll check the palate to make sure it's not too deep. If it's too deep, you know you got to put a little extra up there, okay? Okay, I'm going to get ready to mix. So I have two and two, like two scoops of raisin, right? You're going to pour it. But before you do that, let me back up. You're going to try the trays in. Because you hate to start mixing it up and then, oh, the tray don't fit, right? So what you're going to do, and you can come over here if you need to is you're gonna take the tray and you're gonna go in at an angle. It's gonna stretch your cheeks out a little bit, don't be scared. And then you're gonna take your finger with gloves on and you're gonna feel all the way back. Make sure that last tooth is covered, do you understand? Then you're gonna take it out and then, you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you notice how I'm taking care of the corner of her lips? So I don't crack them. And then we're gonna do the upper, just breathe through your nose. Go at an angle, it's a stretch, and then try it in. Feel again, please don't bite me. Okay, good. <laughs> and take it out, okay? These are perfect for you. All right. And I did ask to have more different size trays sent in case they don't fit somebody. All right. Now, some places have adhesive that you can put in here. Don't get it on the tables, your uniforms, it's sticky, and it's very strong, so don't spill it in the office. Okay, here we go. Ready? Dump that in there. Mix it up. This is how you mix it up. You make sure you get it all wet, and then you can do the figure eight, okay? And what I do is I rub it up against the side of the wall of the bowl, to get those lumps out, you cannot have lumps. Let me get over here so I can load it real fast. This is regular set, but there is fat set out there. It should taste like spearmint. And if you do the ordering at your office, go ahead and order some um, alginate flavoring. They like got like Coke and bubble gum. You can make yeah, cherry Coke. It's cool. A lot of orthodontists have it. Okay, so I have the tray loaded. You see how that's loaded? Okay, I don't have it drooping here, and I have it to the rim. Now what I'm gonna do is take this, this is really important. You're gonna wipe it off while you can, because it gets really hard. And then take some, put it on your glove if you need to, and then you're gonna insert it. And of course you would have your patient fit. Can you hold that for me now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have fifth clips. Okay. And then you're going to insert it at an angle. And don't put your head back so much. Bring it forward. And then you don't want it right up against the teeth. You understand me? Two fingers, bunny ears, and push down. Lift your tongue up and relax. Perfect. 
and now we just wait. See, just like that. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Check with your patient, make sure you're doing okay. If she's gonna start to gag, raise your right leg. <laughs> when she raised her right, keep it up, keep it up. Okay, you tell them, breathe through your nose, that is going to distract them from gagging. It will help you, okay? Or you can say ha. Say ha. Ha. <laughs> ha. I say, this is what I do. I'm going to say ha with you because that's going to heat it up from the heat from your stomach. And so you don't feel silly, I'll say it with you. Ha, 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 arms. Let go of my arms. Let go. We need to get this done. If we take it out right now, it's going to be a mess. And it's going to make the situation worse. Just hang in there. Raise that right leg up again. And just breathe through your nose. We got this. We got this. Reassure them. It does help. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to check it. It feels like rubber. Smiley's little lamb. Okay. And then, this is how you break out the impression. Everybody focus, okay? You're going to take your index finger, both of them. Close a little bit. I'm having her close a little bit so I have cheek to stretch. And now I'm going to pop it up, but I'm not going to hit the top teeth. Thank you. And then you give them your paper towel that we don't have right now. And that is a lower impression. And then we're going to have learn how to pour it up in a little bit. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to teach you the upper. Okay, so for the upper, we got the lower done. And we would wrap this in a wet paper towel so it doesn't dry out. You girls need to come closer, you can. You're going to go like this again. How many scoops for the upper? Three. Three. Yes. So three and three. Are you ready? Mm hmm Okay. All right, and then you mix, do the alginate dance. Do a figure eight. Get it nice and smooth. Because you only want to take these once. <laughs> you don't want to go to your feet and say, It's not a good feeling to be in that position as the patient or the assistant. You gotta be the best. And like I said, one student of mine went to a uh, office and the assistant was like, don't ask me for help. She can't handle it. Don't be one of those. Okay. Okay. So this, see how nice and smooth it is? Little trick, dip your hand in some running water, smooth the top of it if you want to. And then, if you're going to keep getting voids or there's a diastomer, put a little extra in the front teeth. <laughs> okay, focus, breathe through your nose. Go in at an angle. Do not be right up against those teeth. Bring it up. Chin towards your chest, please. Notice how I'm using my arm, and I'm not going like that. Too many people want to take their hand and push the head down. No, no. Why? Because Algin is going to get in her hair and they're going to look at you like, really? And we just wait together. And that's when you go, yeah, you know what dental assistant waitress we have in common? They both ask you how you doing with your mouth full. <laughs> it helps the situation. But just don't get them to choke on it if they laugh too much. You got to time it just right. You okay? Uh-huh. Okay. She's doing awesome. Isn't she a great patient? Mm -hmm. Almost set. About 30 seconds. Just tell them 30 seconds. Makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mental game. <laughs> you are doing fantastic. <laughs> Open, don't bite me. Some people will start to bite you. Not on purpose. Okay, awesome. I think we're there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take it out. Nice and easy. Remember, two index if it starts to. Beautiful. 
See that palette and see the lip rub? You want to see a lip rub and you want to see a nice palette. And you want to see none of the tray. So I'll leave these up here so you guys can see. Thank you.